Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Liara and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video which is of course new makeup releases, sneak peeks, my wish list, everything I like and maybe a few things that I don't or sometimes maybe I'm changing my mind, I'm sometimes not sure. So anyway, you're here on the journey with me and we are figuring it out together. So anyway, I also need to tell you that I did film the look, it's coming up on Sunday I think and it is the first impression with the Blossom, what is it called? Blossom, Blossom Passion from Ace Boutet. This is on Sunday. It's going to be a chatty video, not like a tutorial style, but it's going to be a chatty video and I think it's going to be really, really nice. So feel free to come back for that and of course for everything before and after. <laughs> and uh, what else do I have to tell you? This is already the third video that I'm filming today. I did not change the lipstick or the turban or the clothes or anything so you're going to see me three times looking just like that because I just feel like not being fake you know I don't want to fake it like why why do I have to get changed everybody's going to see that this is my face and this is how I look and I just feel like we should all make a point of being real and all of us know that you know what we all have lives and we need to sometimes film several videos you know in one row so that is how it is. So anyway, just so you know, this is the first video of the three that you're seeing here with this look and that's just what it is and I hope you're not getting bored. So that is that. So of course the original creator is Samantha March and I'm going to leave as always her all her contacts and everything uh, in the description box down below as well as the brands that I'm talking about. Sometimes there is not enough room in the uh, description box down below so either I leave the brands that I'm talking about in a pinned comment or my makeup in a pinned comment. Okay so just if there is a confusion you know sometimes that has to happen because on videos like this the description box is just incredibly full. So that is that. So let's just go in, let's move to the side a little bit and see uh, what happens. Now I lost my page. <laughs> <laughs> we're off to a good start. Let's just go in with this one first. So this is Kraken Cosmetics and Kraken Cosmetics has just released this. Um, they didn't even sneak peek it I think. I think they just just released it right away and this is the Cyberpunk Zero palette I think if I if I see this right. So that is of course you know some neutrals and then like light like a white and grays and blues and it's, it's overall really, really cold, which is really interesting. It looks like it's all matte. So if you're into all matte looks, that could be really, really nice. I'm actually, th th I'm very intrigued by this. Now, all matte looks is not my thing. All shimmer looks is not my thing. But um, that is that is actually really um, intriguing, the color scheme. Okay, color scheme wise, I think it's really, really intriguing. I do not have a price. I know that this is already available. So if you want, uh, check that out. Kraken Cosmetics. I think it is an interesting release, especially with that pop of bright uh, light blue there. Um, I think it is really cool, honestly. So yeah, so that is that. I'm not going to get it. It's not for me personally, because I need like the all matte is not necessarily for me only if I have from that brand a palette that has shimmers already okay so that then I would consider it but because I don't so this for now is not for me but I think it's nice okay the next thing is from uh, Givenchy Beauty and they have um, launched these four palettes so there are four different color schemes of course and more leaning neutral with a pop of color or color but um, it is sort of of course in the style of the brand it is a little bit like of course it's high-end um, it's probably the, the the client how do you say that the, the customers of that brand um, this is probably what you're selling best with this so wait the, no it has not launched yet it, the, it will launch on 1st of March in Japan I don't know what does that mean? It, they're saying here it's, it's launching 1st of March in Japan. All right, so that is nice. <laughs> okay, so we have um, four different formulas in there. There is matte, there is satin, there is glitter, and there is metallic finishes. Um, overall, I think each of them looks really, really nice. Me personally, I'm actually um, I'm actually leaning towards the, the top right, the one in the top right corner. I think that the, with like the gray and the purple, I think that is really, really intriguing. Um, am I going to get this? No, but I think it is nice, you know, for if you like that. So, 
Yeah. Uh, okay, so LA Girl have launched two new pro eyeshadow palettes. So one of them is the Artistry palette, which is the more colorful one, and one is the Mastery palette, which is the more neutral one. I'm honestly leaning towards the more neutral one because it sort of leans a little bit towards the rosy neutrals that I'm so in love with these days, which <laughs> this is not rosy neutral. I was going for no no rosy neutral, but yeah, I'll talk more about it in Sunday's video, just uh, so you know. All right, so that um, these are the two palettes. They are going to retail for eighteen dollars each. Um, I actually think um, they both look okay, even though I lean a little bit more to the more neutral one. But um, I have not tried LA Girl. I don't know how the formula is. Um, it is very affordable, which I like. Yeah, I, I'm not against trying it. I think it's nice. Let me know if you have experience with that brand. Then from going uh, <laughs> from being very affordable, going to a very, very expensive, which is of course Viseart. So this is Viseart. They have limited, um, they have released a limited edition palette, which is I think the Avignon palette. Um, and they have made this available if I understand that right, correct me if I'm wrong, I, I understood that they made this available, of course, in limited edition, but also like just for two days or something. And then you had to immediately write an email to them to get on the list in order to get this. Like, it's a bit crazy, I think. The color scheme is not really like extremely new, like not a new idea, but nice. I actually think it's really, really nice with those very vibrant blues. Um, I like that. Uh, I just think that it's a bit gimmicky to do it like this, you know, like limited edition. Yes, I get it, but do it like th this is a bit crazy to make it available for like just a couple days or like two days and five minutes or something and then uh, people have to like jump on it. I mean, yes, this is how you get people to buy it because of course everybody like has FOMO and doesn't want to miss out. But I think that is gimmicky. I don't like that. But um, that's just me. Anyway, this was, I think this was created, um, it's the shades for the New York fashion show. So a fashion week show or something like this. So th this is the like the background of that palette. But anyway, I think it looks really, really nice. I've... Uh... I have something else from Viseart that I'm eyeing, and if you know me, then you know which palettes I mean. This, like the Oriental... I still don't know how, to, how they are called. I know how they look. They're so beautiful. I'm gonna put them here so you know. Uh, maybe I'm also gonna put up the name so you know which ones I want. I'm just waiting for them to like be discounted. <laughs> because they came out end of last year and I'm eyeing them. Uh, this is the one thing from Viseart that I want to have. These two palettes. So yeah, but they're very expensive. I'm just waiting, you know, for them to be a little bit more discounted than they are already. Like it's it's still very, very expensive. So anyway, this is not, I'm not going to get this. I don't like it when, when brands trick you because those other two palettes that I just showed you, they are also limited edition. They told us from the beginning it's limited edition and that is fine, but they are not putting like the, how do you say that, the brackets? Like they, they were not putting handcuffs on you and like leading you to buy it immediately because I think that is that that is not right okay so I'm not gonna get this it looks very nice but it's not for me okay the next thing is from distinction cosmetics and this is a sneak peek that they are coming out with more brow pencils so distinction cosmetics is doing an awesome job when it comes to brows absolutely awesome I have not seen another brand that it is so inclusive for um, like red hair and for gray and for like everything you can imagine and also colorful like if you want to have a blue uh, brow pencil or I think also gels and all kinds of stuff so it's an amazing brand I have unfortunately not tried it yet because I'm so very very low maintenance when it comes to my own brows I'm just using brow powder like very very actually I'm I'm using um, eyeshadow, you know. <laughs> if you if you watched my I think my January haul where I showed you this palette here, the, I created that uh, for myself because I always need a bone color mat on my desk here, and these are the two eyeshadows that I'm using as brow powder, and that is really seriously all I'm using. I'm super super low maintenance. Um, I wish though I could try Distinction Cosmetics. I'm I'm not the the kind of girl that has like blue or red eyebrows or something because I'm doing my makeup for my day. You know, I'm not doing makeup just for those two hours that I'm sitting here. So that's why it doesn't really make 
like I'm not gonna go out to, with green eyebrows or something like this so that that doesn't make sense for me personally but nevertheless I think it's an amazing brand I love the like the, the big range of what they offer and um, I wish them a lot of success with this and I'm, I'm gonna try them at some point but with something that fits to me of course <laughs> okay the next thing is a sneak peek from Cloud Beauty and they are coming out with the Versailles palette so uh, Versailles is of course a palace and I'm super super intrigued because you know that I am absolutely into everything that uh, has to do with kings and queens and royalty and all of that palaces and castles and you know my future home so um, I'm super super intrigued what that is going to be right now we of course only see this black and white picture and um, that is coming soon I have no date uh, of course no price because we don't even see how big the palette is going to be um, according to the it's French names <laughs> it's French names of course Versailles um, but I'm very intrigued this could be like a royalty palette I would love that you know this could be really really nice so I'm going to have my eyes open for you and I'm going to update you whenever I see something updated okay the next thing that I wanted to show you is from Wet and Wild Beauty in collaboration with Bretman Rock so um, I think they've collaborated before am I wrong I'm not like really really closely following all the collabs that are going on it's just too much I cannot remember this like I Sometimes I can't even remember the names of my kids. Like seriously, how, how can I remember everything? So that is uh, the Jungle Rock palette. And there's also going to be a brush set. There's going to be loose highlighters, a mascara and a setting spray. So talking about the palette, loose highlighters is not my thing. So I'm not even, you know, you look it up if you're interested. I'm just going to talk here about the palette or maybe I'm throwing the other picture with the, um, the other things that are in this collaboration. Um, maybe I can throw that up here. But speaking about the palette, it is it's actually cute. I, I think it is a nice palette. Um, I, I don't think I've tried Wet n Wild either. <laughs> How is their formula? I mean this is also of course going to be affordable, rather affordable, so that is nice. I'm always, always in support of that. I always think that we should first try those things and then see how how we get along. You know what I mean? Am I gonna get this? Maybe not, but um, I think it looks really nice. So the next thing I need to talk about sweeties. I need to talk one more time about Jaclyn Hill. I know I've been um, talking about her last time, of course, because of uh, her coming out with this palette, the Jaclyn Hill Number no. Two palette, and I didn't even say anything about the palette because back then I was really, really upset. Afterwards, I had a conversation uh, with one of my very good friends, and um, she she was sort of telling me, "Girl, you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. You don't know." and that is actually true you know I don't know what's going on in Jacqueline's life I'm sure it's a mess I'm sure it's not easy and that is really something you know I've told you that I really would like to come out with my own brand but really if you're on the sorry but shit list you know of a lot of people and people come after you for whatever you do it must be it would break me so considering that that um, that Jacqueline is still coming in front of the camera even if she's just trying to sell something okay so we spoke about that last time but even th that she is at all you know coming in front of the camera and even leaving the house and not like living in a hole because I would um, that is actually amazing you know so anyway I was trying to like inform myself a little bit about this palette because the palette looks lovely <laughs> it's really really pretty and um, I uh, I so much want to hate it but I cannot I really really like it and I kind of not even only borderline but really really want to Oh, and I've been trying to talk myself out of this palette because I said I'm not going to support her anymore and I'm thinking if I should even support Morphe anymore but then like the, it was like the devil and the, the you know how do you say that the demon and the angel talking to each other like one sitting here and the other one sitting here and my head in between and like I, I have steam coming out of my brain seriously um, it was like, yeah, but you know what? Um, it's not really buying from her. It's buying from Morphe, and you've not banned Morphe. And then the other one said, yeah, but you know, it did. <laughs> um, I'm going crazy here. I kind of really, really want that palette, you know. So. <sighs> I don't know. I have to like think about it a little bit more. I know my best friend told me, girl, you don't need this palette. Stop it. Stop it. Not because of not supporting Jacqueline, just because I don't need it. But I kind of do, you know? <laughs> 
ladies it's it's seriously crazy i had like i had it in my shopping cart on the morphe website and i had everything filled out and i was ready to click on the buy button and then I said, Leora, give yourself a couple of days and then come back. And if you still want it, then buy it, you know, whatever, you know, support her, not support her, whatever. <sighs> okay, so I will update you at some point. If I buy it, you will see it at some point in one of my monthly hauls. I might give myself a little bit more time to breathe about this and maybe I'm going to calm down. But the looks I've seen with this palette, sweeties, I kind of really, really want this palette. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So just saying there's always two sides to the story and maybe I wasn't completely fair last time. I was really upset, you know, and I kind of still am but, um, with Jacqueline and with this side of her. But I know that there is also a very, very hurt side. And I know there's also uh, like a lot behind the scenes and probably also legal things going on that bind her and who knows and i'm sure she has a lot of false friends that are leading her into traps and not everything is her fault even though i do think that there is a lot of things that there or there are a lot of things that she did not do right and she didn't didn't handle right and didn't own up to i still absolutely believe that but i do believe that there is also a different like the second side that is maybe neglected by a lot of people and also obviously on social media and in you know all the drama videos and everything so i don't want to go into this um but um i just wanted to be fair and sort of put this this side out here too i'm not one i don't want to buy the palette because i feel guilty of what i uh, about what i said last time i just really want the palette for the palette but um i just wanted to put that part of my thoughts out here too because I wish her well you know I wish her I wish for her that she can recover from what she's going through I know she has a lot to do with anxiety and with um, problems with alcohol and all kinds of stuff I get it and I know that I, I can see that she is incredibly unhappy you know and um, it's it's so sad to see and I wish her well but I do think that she has to make some decisions about her life about her friends the people she works with with and the companies or the, whatever she works with I do think that she just needs some true friends who tell her girl I love you but we need to work on this you know we need to make some, some changes and also like like turn the wheel around as long as we still can you know so that is that just wanted to update you uh, on that that I really really like the palette is <laughs> did I say did I say that already? It's uh, $39. It's available already. It's not sold out yet, which tells me that people are very hesitant. But yeah, I'm hesitating too, but just because I'm trying to be, I'm trying to rein myself in, you know? <laughs> I don't know it's hard all right so let's move on to Colourpop and they um they have come out for Valentine's Day with these luxe glosses so they I think are eight dollars each am I saying this right yeah it's eight shades eight dollars each you do not have to buy them in a bundle you can buy them um separately it's just the picture is like this whole thing bundled together and um the shades are maybe not so much for me it's all very very neutral which is I have no problem with I like neutral but it's just there is not really a range for me like if but if I would like one of them maybe I would try it I'm not too much into glosses though I like liquid lipsticks but glosses I want a little bit more for my lips you know than just like a hint of something I want I want coverage really I, I do so it says here they're ultra glossy which is nice I like that they're non-sticky they're lightweight there is a brush applicator for precision they're ranging from sheer to medium coverage depending on the finish so they're I guess different finishes so anyway that is that it's not like I don't think this is going to be for me um but I think for someone who like really really likes high gloss glosses <laughs> in this in this color scheme that could be a nice affordable uh, you know option for you then we are moving on to House Labs. Okay, so uh, <laughs> House Labs has come out with the what's it called? Le, Le Monster Matte Lip Crayons. Okay, so that that is how they look. They actually look really really nice. Um, I I kind of think that that would be something I would like to try. It's twelve shades, and um, all of them look really really spectacular. This it says here it's a full coverage creamy creamy formula um, that strikes 
covers in one swipe. It's lightweight, it goes on smooth, then dries down, morphing from creamy application to a butch proof matte finish. Now, I'm not married to matte finishes in anything except in my eyeshadows, but it's nice. I really, really like it. I Do I have a price? I don't think I have a price. This launched, what is the date today? Okay, so this launched your yesterday. This is already available. I think it looks really, really pretty. Yeah, absolutely. I think I could use all of these colors, honestly. Unfortunately, that is not gonna happen. But anyway, um, I think it's really pretty. Okay, the next thing is from Alamar Cosmetics and they are coming out with these three palettes. So this is for bronzing, sculpting and highlighting. Um, I think they're nice. This is maybe not necessarily for me. They're, they're $25 each. They are going to be in uh, fair, medium and dark. And the um, the brushes that you see there, is there the bundle complexion brushes? I think you get all of them for $36. The brushes are actually really nice. I, I could use those brushes. The the, um, the palettes, I don't know which one to go for, honestly. I don't think the medium palette would work for me. I think that would be too dark for me. And I don't think the light one would be the light one would be too light for me so for me personally this is not I'm I'm sure there are a lot of people who can use this it's just just personally um, for me it's not but I like the brushes <laughs> okay the next thing I wanted to show you is from M cosmetics and that is this so this is really a, a blush but this is it's called faded Clementine and this is really how it looks I think it's really pretty it's called um, the new heavens glow radiant veil blush and I really, really think it's pretty. I would even use that as a highlighter, honestly, or like a hybrid, you know, between highlighter and, and blush. I think this is super pretty. This is already available. Um, I don't think I have a price here either, but um, you will find the website in the description box or as a pinned comment. <laughs> and that is really, really nice. Really like it. The next thing I want to talk about is MAC. So MAC has apparently announced that they are coming out this year in 2020. They're coming out with all kinds of collaborations with all kinds of influencers. So I was like, yes, they're going to contact me. I'm going to collaborate with MAC. But no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, MAC has um, co uh, collaborated with uh, Hindash. So Hindash, I think, is a um, beauty YouTuber from Dubai, I think. Is that right? Yes. He is a YouTuber from Dubai, a makeup artist, and I think he does a phenomenal job for what he does, you know, like very, very glam and very like that. Um, and they have collaborated and come out with one lipstick. <laughs> which looks like this. So the lipstick looks nice. It says here is the perfect blend between pink, red and brown, which I agree. It's very, very nice and flattering. You can use it to wear alone or as a lip topper. Okay, so that means it's not like super, super high coverage. Um, I just think that one lipstick, seriously, like if, if someone would contact me and ask me to collaborate for one lipstick, I would think, really? <laughs> You know, yeah, I don't know. Um, then the the other co collaboration for 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 now, for now, um, is with Barbie. So Mac has collaborated with Barbie and also come out with a lipstick which looks like this. It's a Barbie pink. Um, <sighs> I don't know like what is this I don't understand like coming out with one li lipstick at a time that is really that is silly for me and they're making a big deal on Instagram about all the collaborations coming up so does that mean that like yes they're going to collaborate with a lot of creators which is nice good for them but like one lipstick at a time <laughs> I don't get it. I'm not for this. I don't know. So this one will be available on February 26th and the other one, let me just quickly check. I don't know if that was posted here. Yeah, that will be um, available on the same date. So I don't know. This is not for me. I think this is silly. I don't like it, but yeah. Okay, fine. Then Morphe. Uh, Morphe is coming out with a mattifying continuous setting mist. Just wanted to show you, I have seen a Morphe setting spray being used in so many YouTubers videos. I can 
kind of want to try this, but I don't want to order something like this. It's like, I don't know. Um, but okay, so this is mattifying. I don't personally need mattifying. I'm a glowy girl. I don't even try to mattify my face anymore. I know in the beginning of my channel I did, and I was just so desperate to try to, to like, you know, within seconds my oils go through and it's just, it is what it is. Right now, like uh, by now I've made my peace with it. I think I look, look so much younger and so much more vibrant, not trying to be matte anymore, you know, but I know that a lot of people like it and that's then perfect for them. So this is, it says here it controls oil and shine for up to 12 hours. It's sweat resistant and humidity resistant, ultra fine, translucent powder that is in the spray, I guess, uh, works on all skin tones and it prevents makeup from melting. So that sounds actually really, really good. Maybe I should try it through the like the really hot summer that we have here. But anyway, I'm using my own setting spray that I'm making myself. So I'm saving myself that money. It's going to cost um, $16 and and that's all. <laughs> okay, moving on to Pat McGrath. Um, I still have not gotten all her products in PR. I don't know why. I thought they are on the way to me because she's my sister and she doesn't know. <laughs> So anyway, so uh, she's coming out with new complexion products. I'm just kidding, girls. You know that, right? I'm, I love her, but I don't know why she doesn't see me. I love her so much. And you know, if you put love out in the universe, it should come back. And it doesn't. I don't know why. Can't figure it out. Okay, so she's coming out with new complexion products. Um, and for her, what's it called? The Sublime Perfection um, foundation that she already has, she's coming out with the fitting concealers. So there are going to be 36, 36 concealer shades, um, as you see here. And then they're going to retail for $32, which for me is Wow, for me that is a lot of money for a concealer because I use my Maybelline concealer, I use my Maybelline foundation, that is already a lot of money. Like for me to spend, I don't know, $12 on foundation, that is, you know, <laughs> you know, I lose, I, I lose, I use a lot of foundation, so... Anyway, so it says here it's creamy, lightweight, full coverage concealer with a natural radiant matte finish that brightens under the eye and hides the appearances of blemishes. Yeah, so there's also all kinds of other things, Sublime Perfecting Blurring Under Eye Setting Powder um, that is going to come in three um, three shades, $30 each. There's going to be three new brushes and there's going to be, is there anything else? No, that is it. I think there's going to be three more brushes and that is that. Yeah, okay, so I'm still waiting for my package from her. <laughs> Because I love her so much. Okay, sweeties, uh, we are moving on uh, to something where I just have to put out in the universe that everybody who is talking about this brand has been pronouncing the name wrong. And I just need to put it out there because I know how to pronounce that name. So this is Hatice Schmidt Labs. This is how one says it. <laughs> Just Hatis, Hatis, I've heard everything. So this is Hatice Schmidt. She's German. She is based in Berlin and she has just, I don't know, a couple weeks ago announced that she is coming out with her own brand. She's quite a big YouTuber in Germany and she's making German YouTube videos. And um, I'm not subscribed to her, but I have checked her out obviously already weeks ago when she came out with that brand. And uh, so <laughs> she's married to a German man. Her husband is called Sebastian Schmidt. And and she is, um, I think she was born in Turkey, so she's of Turkish background, and she married a German man, so that's why Hatice Schmidt. So Sebastian Schmidt and Hatice Schmidt, I think it's it's so, so cool, and it's sort of a symbol for what is happening in Europe anyway, you know, the um, merging of everything. So um, they look like a really, really cute couple together, and anything, anyway, so she has come with her own brand, and the first release is these are these two palettes. So, uh-huh. I kind of really, really like both of them, you know? Oh, uh, sweeties, I don't even know what to say. I check them out. I want them badly. So there's the Holy uh, palette and then there's the Day palette. They're both super beautiful and I could also imagine like to use them together. That would be so amazing. I just really... They are 55 or 54 euros each. 
and that is a bit like insane for a small palette like this you know I just can't you know and I do get it I totally agree with what um, Angelica Nyquist said in her video when she also spoke about those palettes she said that um, it is it costs a lot of money to you know come out with a new brand and everything but yes but on the other side I think that you also have to make your you, you may have to enable people to buy it you know I just feel like that is is so expensive that's like I don't know $70 or something um, that is like super super high end if you ask me like for me um, besides that I really think that they are super spectacular and beautiful and I really really want them especially that gray in that palette I want those palettes so if any one of you maybe my, my people in Germany here who are following me sweeties please let me know bitte lasst mich wissen was ihr denkt Please let me know what you think. Please, if you have those palettes, if you have tried the formula, please let me know. I might have to sell one of my children. <laughs> This is this is hard, you know. I, I kind of really want to try this. I want to also promote. I love it when someone in my country, in Germany, like I come from Germany. I live now in Israel, if you're new here, but um, I live for like 12, how many years? A lot of years in Israel already, but I was born and raised in Germany. I'm like my mother tongue is Germany, uh, German <laughs> and I'm I'm all over this, you know, when I know that in my country of origin they are, there are beauty brands coming out. This is, for me, this is spectacular and I really, really want to support it. I just have to be able to support it in, like, what what I can pay, you know? So, yeah. Um, let me know what you think, okay? So it's Hatice and I know that because when I studied, while I was still in Germany, when I was studying to become a registered nurse, in that three months, uh, no, sorry, three years course when I was studying, I had a girl from Lebanon, and like a Lebanese girl, and her name was Hatice. So I know that her name is Hatice. Okay, so that is her name. Okay, the next thing I wanted to show you is from Emma Cosmetics and they are coming out with four new glitter blend and five new pigment shades. It's hard to say. And this is how it looks and this looks so, so good, sweeties. This, just like that, looks so, so good. Oh my goodness, when I saw this, I just could not. I haven't ordered it. It says here for a limited time you can save forty percent uh, if you if you order for something for fifteen dollars plus. So I don't know when I'm filming this. This post is two days ago. If you are fast, maybe you can still do it. You know, but um, I really really like this. You know, I'm wearing glitter today. I love glitter. It's like my only issue that I have with glitter is that it gets stuck in my lashes and I have a bit of a time, you know, cleaning my lashes. But besides that, I love to wear glitters and I love to wear shimmers on my lid and these look just so, so good. Anyway, this is Amo Cosmetics, now available. Super, super pretty. Okay, the next thing I wanted to show you is from Root Cosmetics and this is this eyeshadow palette. It's called Manga Anime, I think, uh, book two. It's uh, neutral. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you because of course there are people here who like to have neutral palettes and uh, this could maybe be your thing. This is going to retail for um, $24. It is already available and it's really really like soft glam sweet kind of a thing. If you like big palettes and if you like that color scheme that could be absolutely for you. I have tried Root Cosmetics several times already in like I don't know four palettes. I have another one on the way and I really really like that brand. So so I'm just saying that that might be something for you if that is your color scheme. For me personally, this is not maybe necessarily what I'm looking for, but I did order something which you will see. You will see at some point. Um, okay, so the next thing I wanted to show you is from Classic Cake Cosmetics. And we have not heard from Classic Cake Cosmetics in a long, long time because there were a lot of things in her private life, in Sandra's private life going on that were really, really hard. So that's why she took a bit of a break. But uh, she is coming back and um, she is just showing us that this is going to be part of a new palette. This are like three three shades you also see. I think I can include swatches. Do I have swatches? Yeah, I'm also going to include swatches. This looks very, very lovely, like subdued a bit. I don't know what else is going to be in this palette. She says this palette is going to release in the next couple of weeks and she's also going to have lip plumbers coming out. How does one say that? Plumbers? 
plumbers, <laughs> you know, to for lip plum plumbing. No plumbing, <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean, right? So anyway, um, that is that. That's all I know so far. And this looks nice. It's a little bit of a subdued color scheme if I already told you. Um, what I already told you, but um, it depends also a little bit what else is going to be in the palette, but this looks really, really nice. It looks like flaky, glittery. Um, let's see what else is coming. I'm definitely going to keep you updated. And then I wanted to definitely end this video uh, with my girl, with Monique Bollet MUA, because soon after I had published my video last week, she shows us this highlighter palette and I like, I almost lost it. I said, girl, really? Really? <laughs> it is just so, so beautiful. Like this highlighter palette, can you believe this? This is Frosto Pastel Highlighter, Frosto Pastel Highlighter Collection. This is how it's called. It's eight pastel highlighters, perfect for a winter or spring glow. I kind of really, really need this in my life. I don't think I can survive spring without this. <laughs> oh, it looks so beautiful. This girl, I really, okay? So that is uh, phenomenal. I really, really needed to show you this because these are all the shades, all the colorful highlighter shades that are beyond, like a champagne and whatever, you know. Mm, the, and I've tried, I've tried two of her highlighters already that were both leaning purple, who were absolutely amazing. One was more a little bit, um, a little bit more like sparkly, flaky, which was super, super nice. Once I figured out how to apply it, because um, I like dabbed it on like this, and it was like stars in the sky, you know, so beautiful. And then one that was more like the traditional application that was also super nice and had a really, really nice impact, and also came in my in my photo shoots it came out super super nice so I know that her formula rocks and the colors are so so great so really really nice and then I also wanted to show you now I just have to scroll back to this because I just found this and added this right before I sta uh, started filming this the new multi-chrome quad which is already now available on her Etsy and I'm going to also show you this is the the picture from above and I'm going to show you because she says that they shift when they move so here is a picture where you see the same palette tipped in different angles so you see the, how different these look you know and this is also absolutely amazing like really who wouldn't want this oh, it's absolutely beautiful really really like it the girl has really really something going on um, I have a code with her my code is Leora in all caps not affiliated it gives you five percent of your order I'm not making anything off it it's just that um gotta tell you you know yeah I think this looks super super beautiful and with that I'm going to conclude the video I'm um, I made the decision last week that I'm not at the end of the video like artificially dragging out the video and telling you all my favorites I'm not gonna do that anymore it's you know if you made it into my video you were special enough to make it into my video so if you if I liked it or not it doesn't really matter I told you already in the video if I liked it or not right so we're not going to drag this out and that was never my intention to drag out the video because they are always long enough but I don't know I always felt like I wanted to point it out again but there's really no need for this anyway this is it for today I hope you enjoyed if you're new here then please of course subscribe to my channel if you did like the video then please give it a like and I'm going to see you here tomorrow God willing for my next video and up until then go ahead and sparkle hugs and kisses bye